So let's walk through a problem. When you're first learning to code, you have to think about all of the little details. The more familiar you get with the Python language, the easier it will become. But at the beginning, it is going to take a lot of time coming up with the algorithms and then writing the, the, um, the programs. So when you're given a question, like this, a company has determined that its annual profit is typically 27% of the total sales. Write a program that asks the user to enter the projected amount of total sales, then displays the profit that will be made from that amount. So when you're first looking at these problems, think how you would solve this if you were actually talking to an owner of a company and you had to determine the amount of profit. So what I would do is I would start looking for all of the information that I will need from my user. So I'm going to need um, the total sales and then I'm going to be calculating the annual profit. And I know the annual profit is 27% of the total sales. So here I am and here is the business owner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him, what are your total sales? And then this person will give me an amount. Let's say they say $35,000 are their annual sales. So then I'm going to get out my handy dandy calculator and I'm going to calculate um, 35,000 and I'll multiply that by 27% to get $9,450. Okay, so that's their total profit. So work out the logic like you would if you were not writing a program. And then think about the steps that we just went through, right? We asked for the total sales. They gave us the total sales. We multiplied the total sales by 27% to get the profit. And then you're ready to start writing your algorithm. So I'll go ahead and clear this. And we're ready to start. So we need to think about the information that the program is going to have to remember when it's running. And that information will be stored in a variable. So I'm going to create um, a variable called uh, total sales. Remember, that's what I'm asking the user for. And then I'm going to create a variable um, for the profit, right? That's what I'm going to be calculating. And then I'm going to, what am I going to do next? I'm going to ask that business owner what their total sales is. So I will prompt for total sales. And then I'm going to input um, amount into total sales. So I'm just kind of going step by step on this on what I'm going to do to solve this problem. So this is just a, a rough outline of what I'm going to be doing in my program. And then I'm going to calculate um, the profit which is going to be equal to the total sales times 27%. And then I'll print a message with the profit. Okay, so this is my um, logic that I'm going to do. So I can go ahead and I can kind of hand trace this to make sure my logic is correct. And so my first thing says to create a variable total sales. And I'll just put an underline under there and I'll put the value um, under the line when I receive that value. And then I have profit. Again, I'll just write a line and then once I figure out what the profit is, I'll put it under that line. So I'm gonna prompt for the total sales and then I'll input that amount into total sales. So they'll tell me $35,000. And then I'm going to calculate the profit, which is the total sales times 0.27. So I'll multiply um, 35,000 by 0.27, 
and I get 9,450. And then I can print a message. So it looks like my uh, steps are pretty accurate. It looks like my logic will solve this problem. And so next, I'm going to change this algorithm into a language that the computer can understand, Python. And the cool thing about writing an algorithm first is that you can give this algorithm to any programmer and they can write it in any language. So they can write it in Java or C++, C, whatever language uh, you would want them to write it in. But we are going to be writing it in Python. And so I'm going to comment out these lines. And in Replit, you can do that quickly by highlighting all the lines and then hitting the command or the control key and the forward slash. And it's just a toggle that toggles back and forth. And the forward slash is the key with the question mark on it. So let's just follow our steps and write those in Python. So the first step says to create a variable called total cells. And remember, all of our um, code is going to go into a function called main. So I'm going to create this main function. And then I'm going to, at the bottom of my, of my program, I'm just going to go ahead and call main. And if you notice, there's no indentation on this line. And there's no indentation on this line. And for the most part right now, these are the only two lines that would have no indentation, except for constants, and we'll talk about that in a moment. So the first thing I want to do is create a variable total cells. And I'm going to populate it or set it to zero. And I'm using this notation just um, so visually I can see that that variable will hold decimal values. Because money, we always use decimal values. And then I'm going to create another variable called profit. And I'll also set that to zero. And then I'm going to prompt for total cells, and I'm going to input that amount into total cells. So I'm going to do that all in one line in Python. I'll say total cells is assigned. And then you have to tell um, Python what type of data this is. Because when you read an input from the user, it's read in as a string of characters. And you can't do math on a string of characters. So we want to convert that string to be a number so that we can do a mathematical calculation on it. So I'm going to change it to a float, which means a number that will contain decimal values. And then I'll use the input function and I'll type my prompt. So enter um, the total cells. OK, and so whatever they type in, will be entered as a string, but then this float will change it to a decimal value, and that will be stored into total cells. And once it's a decimal value, we can do math on it. So we can calculate the profit, total sales times 0.27. That's 27%. And then I'm going to print a message. Um, so the yearly, or I'll put annual, profit is, and then there's a special way of formatting money because we always want to print two decimals when we are printing money. So I'm going to use this um, function called format. And within these parentheses, I'm going to list the variable that I want to format, which is the profit variable, and then I'll put a comma, and then within double quotes, 0.2f, meaning print two decimal places. This is a lot, right? You're going to have to write it down on a piece of paper, maybe, or a sticky note, and put it up on your wall. So whenever you have to format money, all you have to do is look at that little note, and you'll know that that's the syntax to format any decimal value to two places. And then I'll just clean up my code a little bit, and I'll run it. And I'm going to use that um, number that I used to walk through my algorithm. 
because then if I get the answer 9,450, I know I did it correctly. So I'll do 35,000. And it says the annual profit is um, 9,450. So that looks correct. And I probably want to take that extra space out and try that again. And 9,450. And I'm done. The only thing that I would consider is this is called a magic number, meaning that we need to explain to anyone reading this code what that number is, right? And we don't really want to do that. So a better strategy is to create a constant. So we create constants by using all uppercase. And I can do, um, uh, let's see, I can do profit percent. And I can set that to 0.27. And notice I'm using all uppercase, not just the first character, but all of the letters are uppercase, separated by an underscore. And then I'm going to set it to 20, 0.27. And you'll notice that there is no indentation here either. So constants are defined outside of function, so above this function called main, and there's no indentation. No indentation here, no indentation for any line containing the word def, and then no indentation for the call to main. So then I'll um, change this to profit percent. And if I do 35,000, and then 9,450. Okay, and then let's do a quick code walkthrough. And when I run this program, what happens is the function, or the, um, the constant is defined, and then this function is defined. And then I get to the call to main. So when I call main, what happens is execution goes up to the main function. And then line 16 is executed, which creates a variable total sales and puts a 0.0, .0 in it. And then profit is created and it gets a 0, 0.0 and then I'm going to prompt the user to enter their total sales if they enter 35,000 35,000 will get placed into total sales and then the profit will be calculated and that'll be t uh, total sales times 0.27 so the profit will now contain 9,450 and then I'll print the message, um, annual profit is, with a dollar sign, and then format it to two decimals. You can see up here, two decimals. And then my program ends. So that's how a program is created from a problem and the sequence of execution. And so what you're going to be doing is there are four practice problems below and you're going to be going through this same process. Think about how you would solve the problem just by talking to the other person and then take those steps and write your algorithm and then change that algorithm to a Python program. When you're done with each of those steps, if you click on the files icon over here, it'll open a file called solution py, which is going to be the Python code, and then the algorithm.txt, which is going to be um, just a text file with the algorithm in it. So you can check your work. But try to do it on your own first before looking at the solution. And good luck!